Early morning on the western tip of Grand Bahama, the northernmost of all the Bahamian islands and just about 100 kilometers from the U.S. state of Florida's coastline. The Bahamas has really been a second home for me for as long as I can remember, dating back to some of my first times ever going on scuba diving trips, learning how to enjoy and swim in the ocean. And it's just really remarkable because it supports so much life. So for me, as a younger scientist that was fascinated with animals like sharks, this was really ground zero. Dr. Austin Gallagher is the founder and CEO of Beneath the Waves, a nonprofit organization currently based in his hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. We do marine research projects all over the world, really focused on advancing discovery in our oceans and collecting the data that governments and communities need in order to better coexist with our oceans. Accompanied by three members of his team, they've come together from different points in the U.S. and the Caribbean for a four-day research expedition. To kick things off, they're heading out to Tiger Beach, a world-renowned dive spot that, as the name suggests, is famous for an abundance of one of the ocean's most prolific predators and Austin's favorite research partner. This is the place that I've been studying for a long time and I've seen tiger sharks all over the world. This continues to be the most special place for seeing tiger sharks. Completely protected here um, from fishing. They've been um, benefiting from almost 30 years of conservation measures. All right, guys. All right, we'll see you down there. Let's go swim with some big sharks. Labeled as near-threatened on the IUCN Red List, they can grow up to 7.5 meters in length, but are more commonly in the 3 to 4 meter range, weighing between 385 and 635 kilograms. Tiger sharks are the largest predatory shark in tropical waters, and they are really like the Swiss army knife of the shark world. Incredibly flexible diet, wide-ranging behavior, they can tolerate a very large range in temperatures, and they're found pretty much all over the world. It's just so nice to take a minute to realize how beautiful they are. And this is really why we need to protect the species in this ocean, and we have so much to learn. So it was a really good first dive. For the second dive, they've decided to set up at a seagrass meadow, a seemingly inconspicuous patch of green on the ocean floor. But to Austin, it signifies so much more. I've learned that the behavior of tiger sharks is completely different in seagrass meadows. From 2016 to 2020, the Beneath the Waves team conducted a study where they equipped tiger sharks with cameras. The aim was to gain a better understanding of what a day in the life of the animal looked like. What came back was hours of groundbreaking footage that would change the trajectory of their research. We're just at the beginning of understanding how valuable and how important this seagrass asset is. Seagrasses, mangroves, they are what we call a nature-based solution to climate change. So if we want to try and build resiliency, if we want to try and enhance coastal protection and create benefits for our communities and biodiversity, going out and quantifying how much carbon and what the extent of that looks like is incredibly important for ocean research.